Pro View Monitor. When I first turned it on, it was just flashing. But it's got no power whatsoever. So we're going to take it apart. See what happens. As you're going by and through this, you're going to have to take a small screwdriver and pry underneath here, and you're going to have to get each of these tabs. tabs. And that's going to be the hardest part of getting this off. Getting the uh, back stand with just one screw here, and you got four screws down the side. Once you get the front bezel off, then it will be the screen part. To get that out, all you need to do is lay it on its face. And you're going to lift up on the plastic piece here. And you might have to give it a couple of shakes. And then it will come out on its own. And slide it back. You're gonna have uh, probably some cords that you need to disconnect. Right off the bat, I see one. It'd be for your backlighting. So we'll just go ahead and pull that. That's disconnected, and we'll do the same for the bottom. And the last, what we need to look at is this here, which we can probably get away with just. Flipping the two over like this. And you can disconnect it from here. Now you have two separate units. You have the main unit and you have your screen. So, looks like there's two, four, There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws here. And take them off and you'll get to the power board. Now that we got that cover off, you got two screws here, two screws in there you need to take off. I always take them, brush it off. And you also want to make sure that your power is not plugged in while you're doing any work to this. Alright, so I'm going to take these four screws out and see what the problem is. Okay, so I've got this taken apart. There's this capacitor here and there's that one there. I feel this one who's flat and this one's concaved. It was round at the top, swat out. The 150 microfarad 25 volt. This one here is also swelled out. It's 470 microfarad. I'm not sure what the voltage is. But I will get these two replaced. I'll put these parts in the description so you know which to go ahead and order. Um, these other caps are 1000 microfarad, 25 volt. If you want to go ahead and order that. Okay, this is 470, 25 volt for these two capacitors here. <clears throat> so 150 microfarad. 25 volt, 470 microfarad, 25 volt. I'm going to change these two out and show you that it works. Then we're going to test it out, see if it works. Okay, so we have more issues. 
and also this transistor or diode, whatever it is, LT2543, I believe it's the number. 5234 is the number for that. It's also shorted out, so I'm going to replace it. And well, the reason I knew it was shorted out, I was only out the capacitors, and it was showing a short across them. Over here, when you see it, these, this there, this is where this 12 volt regulator was. Well, this chip here, as you can see, it's got a burnt hole in it. It's got the white dot. This is for your backlight. So, got to replace this as well. So when you take the back cover off and you see that this is here, unless you're an electronic technician or a hobbyist and you're just a home user, don't bother trying to replace that. Surface mount is not something that's simple to replace and you might as well just get a new monitor. So if you see this chip here, go ahead and maybe make some decision whether you know how to surface mount solder and whether it's worth it to you to go any further than that. Well that's it for this video. I showed you what you need to do, parts and such. Hopefully you were able to fix your monitor with information that's been provided. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.